Hey everybody, and welcome back to Machinarium. In the last episode, we defused a bomb. And I feel pretty good about it. Um, but in this part, uh, this is actually probably the most... I wouldn't say frustrating, but the most puzzling of all the puzzles that we've had to deal with thus far. Um, and... Just being honest with you guys, when we reach that little puzzle that I'm about to reach, um, I'm actually going to use a guide for it. So, um, you guys can watch this, and, you know, it'll be simple, hopefully. Um, hopefully I won't screw up so bad watch, looking at a guide. Um, but, you know, there are plenty of guides out there that show you how to complete this puzzle, and if that is easier for you to follow, like a little diagram or something, then go for it. It's perfectly fine with me um even though i would definitely prefer that you watch this because i appreciate your support very much but let's talk to this guy and uh find out what exactly happened to him of course the bullies are involved again hmm? <laughs> that's not funny <laughs> and that is the little carrier, I guess, that um took the guy, our little buddy, hero friend, to the junkyard that we had to um scour in the beginning of the game. And sadly, the cop was too late, or the guard, or whatever, something like that. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to open this here. And we are going to complete this puzzle, which is a puzzle that I do not like because I just have trouble with it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but you'll see. I'm going to do this step by step so it's, you know, sort of easy to follow. I suppose, um, while simultaneously looking at a guide and cheating myself, so that, so that, uh, just for the sake of this, this playthrough, it's all for you guys. It's all for you. <clears throat> hmm. This is actually kind of a lot of back and forth, to be honest. To be honest with you. It's a little back and forth. Oh no! The wrong way. Actually, it's a lot easier to do this with a D-pad. I do not know why I was using... Um... <laughs> the control stick. Because that is just silly. There we go. And we can just move these green... These green buttons into that. And as you can see, that is opened up for us. And we are going to have to do the same thing for the next group. I think, actually, the bottom one is a little easier it has like a few extra pieces or whatever but it's not too hard and once we move these yellow ones over to the side we do not have to touch them ever again so they are just there just permanently which is good so now we're going to move the green um the green down there where the yellow ones were and we are going to kind of maneuver this around so that the blue ones can go up where the black buttons or whatever they are I was calling balls the black balls were 
Who cares? Don't be so immature. Don't laugh at me saying balls. Okay. Oh boy. We're moving that there. Moving that up. Oh, I'm trying to be as exciting as possible, but... Oh, did I screw up? Please don't say I screwed up. Please, please, please. Please, oh please, oh please. Hmm. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. That just takes a little extra maneuvering. <clears throat> but you're going to want to move that down. And that is actually where it's going to stay permanently. And now, you're free to move the green balls up. And everything is done. Yes! So now we have this plug. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into our buddy here. And play yet yeah, another game. There is a key, obviously. And what you're going to want to do is avoid these guys because they shoot you and they hurt you and it's not fun. At this point, um, the game for me was kind of tedious in my first playthrough because it seems kind of like this hodgepodge of look at what I can do, kind of, <laughs> rather than, you know, a cohesive game that makes a, bunch, a lot of sense. But, I mean... We're a robot and saving his girlfriend, so I mean, how much sense does it really make? Anyway. But this part did seem kind of weird to me. And it's going to take a little while to. Oh my goodness. To get around. But literally, what you do is you grab this and you. Sh shoot everything without being shot yourself which for me is obviously really hard to do um, but I just kind of shoot like a crazy person and it tends to work out more often than not so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next like five minutes <laughs> hopefully I don't die because I don't know if like if you die I don't know if you have to start all the way over. But it's kind of looking like it might happen. If I continue to be like a maniac with this gun, I need to be a little safer. And I'm not doing it. Okay, that's where the key was. But um, there are health packs scattered around, which is convenient. Um, makes it a lot harder to die. I managed to beat this um, during my first playthrough uh, in one run, but I don't know. Maybe I was a little more careful or something, because I'm I'm not doing too hot right now. Actually, I think I was hit twice. Yeah, may as well. <laughs> may as well grab the second pack because Lord knows I probably need it. I am such a bad aimer. If you guys have watched my Uncharted or Dead Island playthroughs, then you know this already. If not, then you should watch it and then you'll understand how I'm so bad at this. My eyesight is not good. I do not have 20-20 vision. And I also need new glasses. Oh my gosh. These glasses I have are horrible. Either that or I need contacts. One or the other. Like, when glasses get to be a certain age, they're just not. You can't. You can't. Just, I, I just can't deal with them. But, uh, that's not what you came here to hear. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna shut up about my glasses. Wow, those guys knew I was coming. I guess I was, uh, a little too loud. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. But, um, one cool thing I'll say about this game is trophies are actually really easy to get. Um, I managed to 100% this game, um, and the way you get trophies is just by completing it. I mean, you know, 
you don't have to do anything extra. All you have to do is complete the game, and you got it. You have everything you need. But um, the reason I brought it up was because this one was Debugger, the trophy for completing this um, little section here. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Interesting trophy. Um, because it never kind of, it really didn't dawn on me that I was debugging the robot system. Wow. Wow. He saw me before I saw him. That wasn't cool. That was not fair, Mr. Robot. But, um, there is a counter up at the top of how many of these things you need to kill before you beat the thing, and I still have 25 to go. So as, as I said, this could get a little tedious. Kinda repetitive, a little bit. But, um, once you get through this, though, this section, it is actually, uh, the rest of the game is actually a lot easier, in my opinion. Because everything else is pretty straightforward. But this one, oh my goodness. Hopefully this, um, I'm not really speeding this up because I feel like you guys can take the same path as me. Or at least kind of pay attention to where I'm going and the different uh, landmarks, if you will. Um, so that maybe you can find your way a little easier around this maze, too. Um, I kind of do sections at a time. And that may or may not be a good way of doing it. Let me go up this way. Because I believe these two may be up here. I was about to say that, all that about following me and following my little directions or whatever, and then screw up, and that would be so embarrassing. I've embarrassed myself quite a bit on this channel, and uh, so this would not be the first time. I'm used to it. But when this is supposed to be a guide, I would hope that, you know, I'd get things right. Okay, we missed a guy. Great. So we get to go back around. But at least the numbers are dwindling nice. It's always nice. And at this point they're also kind of clustered too because this was an area that I hadn't gone to yet. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need a help thing. Go. And there's another one over there. Um, I'm gonna get this guy first. Because it seems like going down would be counterproductive when there's one up there and three down here. And they are the last three. I'm just gonna fill up on health. And they're already shooting at me. How rude. There we go! So we have debugged his system. So, in order to go to where we need to go, I said go a lot in that sentence, um, we are going to go back to the elevator, put in that next bulb, and create a, let's see, one, one two, eight-sided? Six? Six-sided? We're going to complete a bigger star than what we had before basically. But that's going to be in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this longer section of uh, my shenarium, and I will catch y'all next time.